December 24th, morning, negative 10 celsius, light snow, woke up again with no feeling in my feet. Yesterday we came across some French soldiers, had thick felt boots and kind of a rubber outside. I thought to myself I wouldn't mind a pair of them. Noon, with light snow, the trench was a horrible sight. The dead were stretched out on one side, one on top of each other, six feet high. Started this war with unfounded promises being told by incompetent generals. The war would be over by Christmas. But what now? Christmas Eve and still stuck in this half-frozen, covered in snow trench. Christmas Eve, clear, beautiful moonlit night, frost on the ground, white almost everywhere. I put my candle at Christmas tree on top of the trench, as did many others. Then the beautiful old songs resounded throughout the trenches. Suddenly we hear the English, they sang Silent Night, or Still Nacht, I shall never forget it. We sang, and the voices at first wavering, then firmer swelling into a mighty Christmas carol, together with the enemy. Overwhelmed with joy, I call out to the other trench, No shoot tonight! No shoot tonight! Sing tonight! Sing tonight! So we sang followed with ballads which both sides knew, singing everything from Good King Venceslao to All Lang Syne which we all knew. Everyone joined in, it was absolutely astounding. We spent the remainder of the Christmas Eve watching the lights flicker and fade on the Christmas trees. December 25th, morning, negative 9 celsius, clear sky, woke up to the most peculiar situation. One of our soldiers displayed a board over their trench on which was written Happy Christmas in English. And from the English trenches we hear, Good morning, Fritz! We reply, Good morning! Silence ensues, but after a while I decide to yell, we will come halfway and you come the other half. Okay? Stunned, I grab my cheese ration and get on top of the trench. An English soldier does the same. We meet halfway, I give him the cheese and he gives me some fags. Suddenly I turn around and the Germans are standing on top of their trenches. And the English also. With caps waving in the air, all cheering, then all proceeding to meet halfway exchanging gifts and talking to one another in English and broken English. I shall never forget it. It was one of the highlights of my life. As the day went by, I thought to myself, when the history of the war is written, one of the episodes which chroniclers will seize upon as one of its most surprising features will undoubtedly be the manner in which the foes celebrated Christmas, how they fraternized in each other's trenches, played football, rode races, held sing-songs, and scrupulously adhered to their unofficial truce. It will certainly go down as one of the greatest surprises of a surprising war. As the Christmas day was halting to an end, we all went back to our trenches, unwillingly, wishing in our minds, from Flanders, kneel and say, Godspeed the time when every day shall be as Christmas Day. December 26th. Morning. Negative 12 Celsius. Cloudy sky. The fighting resumed. <laughs> 